What up, folks? Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. And firstly, thank you all very much that donated to my Buy Me A Coffee page for the Magic Animation Tool. Really, really appreciate it. And also thank you to everyone that just downloaded, commented, left me any feedback, shared it, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I really appreciate all of it. It seems to be really well received and you've all come back with some pretty handy feedback so far as well. So that's awesome. Now, this video, I just wanted to show you a couple of really quick, simple pointers for when using the magic animation tool. First one is just saving it to the favorites so it's easier to get hold of. Really simple, but quite handy to know. Second one is just using it on a text title rather than a text plus. In my previous video, I said you had to use a text plus, which is still true, but there's a workaround to make it work on a standard text title, so I'll show you that. And the third one, probably the most important one, the one that was requested the most within the comments, is how to do a different out animation to in animation. And it is actually relatively easy to do. There is a bug when doing it with image files, so JPEGs or PNGs, but fortunately there is a workaround for that as well. So I'll show you those. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Magic Animation Tool is a tool I released the other day, which just helps to make animating within DaVinci Resolve a little bit easier. If you haven't seen the video, you can click on it up here somewhere, or it's down in the description. Go find it, have a look, and let me know what you think. So for the rest of you, let's open up DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you these real quick, super quick, 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 quick tips. So here we are, DaVinci Resolve edit tab we've got the effects library open we've got the toolbox effects and we're just going to come down to our magic animate real simple over to the right hand side there's actually a little star icon i don't know if you've ever noticed it before or you can right click add to favorite and then bottom left of your effects library you've got magic animate just down there now it's only a real simple thing but just makes life a little bit easier if you're using it a lot put it in your favorites you know where it is as soon as you open the effects library it's in the bottom left grab it shove it on whatever and it's good to go Cool, and then the next one, the text title rather than the text plus. So I'm gonna grab my text, put that on my timeline, and it's really simple. All you need to do is to make it a compound clip and then you can apply the magic animation tool. So what I recommend you do, put your text on your timeline, change the text, change the font, do your color, your sizing, all that stuff within the inspector. And then once you've done that, right click, create a new compound clip, give it a name, hit create. And then once it's a compound clip, you can grab your magic animate, drop it on there, go to the effects, and then you're good to go. You can just animate it as always. Now, a couple of real quick general tips here for you. If you've made it a compound clip and then you've realized you've made a mistake, typo, whatever, or you just want to change the font, there's actually two ways that you can get that back. If you right click on the compound clip, you can decompose in place and that will give you the original file back. So in our case, the text title. However, there's another way which also works really well. So let me just undo that. Shoot into your media pool, grab the compound clip, drag it, but you're not putting it on the timeline, you're putting it just here to the left, so where your time code is, and release. And what it will do is open that compound clip as its own timeline. So now we've got the text title back, we can just change the text. Let's go with Mr. Alex Tech. Do whatever we want, let's just increase the size change the font, yada, yada, yada. And then if we go back to the media pool, we can just open up our original timeline by double clicking. And now we've got that new compound clip. It's the same compound clip, we've just changed what's within it. And the effects is still there, job done. Right, last one, your different in and out animations. Now, before I actually show you that, I just wanna show you the bug. So if I grab a image file, so in my case, it's a PNG, it won't actually work on a PNG file or a JPEG file or any image file. For some reason, what you have to do is the same thing, right click, create a compound clip, and then you can apply the effect and we can make these in and out changes. So videos, it's fine, titles, it's fine, yada, 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 but just with image files, it doesn't seem to work. No idea why, but there you go. So let me grab the video. I'm gonna add my magic animate hop into the effects within the inspector, and let's just add a whip. So it whips in from the left, and then it'll whip out to the left, and that's as it is by default. But let's say you wanted it to whip in from the left and then out to the right. How'd you do that? Well, all you need to do is go past the first second, so you need to just be literally anywhere within the middle of your file, whatever it may be. Make sure you're not within one second of the beginning or one second of the end, anywhere in the middle find the thing that you want to change. So in my instance, it's the whip angle. And then to the right of that, you've got the little keyframe diamonds, 
We're gonna give that a click, just so it's highlighted in red. Play it, just any amount, you just need to make sure you've got two keyframes, so set a keyframe, move forward a tiny bit, and then within that field, change it to whatever you want it to be. So in my case, it's 180 degrees. So at the beginning, my angle is zero, so it'll whip in from the left. Halfway through, that angle will change to 180, so by the end, it'll whip out to the right. Easy as that. Now, if you wanted two different animation types, it's exactly the same process. So we've got a fresh clip here, which is gonna to come to the beginning. We'll add a whip. And then halfway through, we need to disable that whip. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe, move forward a tiny bit, change that to a zero. So now it will whip in at the beginning, but it won't whip out because halfway through we've disabled that effect. And then we're just gonna do the opposite to enable a different effect. So let's just go with a spin. We're gonna click the keyframe anywhere in the middle, play forward a little bit, we'll keyframe again. We'll do, let's just do 360, because we want a 360 degree spin. And now it'll whip in at the beginning, and at the end, it'll do a spin. Now, I will admit this isn't the best solution. I've had it do strange things and go a bit janky. If it's not doing what you want, if it's doing a random zoom in the middle, which has happened to me, just delete the effect, add it again, and then do it from afresh, and then generally it does seem to work. And what I'd like to be able to do is to select them independently. So you can just select both, choose or choose, choose what you want at the in, choose what you want for the out. I'll have a look at doing that for a later version of the magic animation tool. And then that'll just be a little bit easier for everyone. And that's it. Just a couple of quick tips for this video, just to tide you over on this Saturday evening. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you all have a good weekend. Take it easy. I'll catch you next week sometime. See ya.